the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we rejoice in the Lord and keep a festival in honor of all the saints, especially St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. This faithful disciple has made known his innermost being in his great book, The Confessions, that Jesus is the source of our salvation. St. Augustine now went to seeds on our behalf in the kingdom that never ends. So let us turn to the Lord and ask for mercy and grace. Lord Jesus, you have made us for yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our salvation. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine that filled with that same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole fount of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be empty of its meaning. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the learning of the learned I will set aside. Where is the wise one? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not come to know God through wisdom, it was the will of God through the foolishness of the proclamation to save those who have faith. For Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, Jews and Greeks alike, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string lyre, chant its, his praises. The, the earth, earth is full of the goodness, goodness of the Lord. Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of people. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have strength to stand before the 
Son of Man. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought less of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was warm away, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. And all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. Foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there not, may not be enough for us and for you. Go instead to the virgins and buy some for yourselves. When they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went, within, went into the wedding feast with them. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. And he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay away, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's, it's sort of ironic that on this feast day of St. Augustine, the Gospel is about the ten virgins, because Augustine's life was far from virginal. <laughs> While he had a, a wonderful mother, truly a saint, St. Monica, whose feast we celebrated yesterday, he really went his own way in life. He was a very, very smart man. He became a well-respected teacher in the ancient world. Had a mistress and had a son by her. Did things his own way. Was able to go over to what we would call Italy today, join a university there. And again, because of his prowess, with his knowledge, and his ability to teach, was so respected. But all through this, Augustine, as much as in the eyes of others around him, was so successful at everything going his way, was never at peace within himself. He always seemed to be looking for something more. He tried the study of ancient philosophies to try meaning didn't find it there completely. He tried in looking at other religions. His mom was a Catholic, a Christian. He looked around for other religions and didn't find what he was looking for. But he was under, bit by bit, the influence of a great bishop of the early church, Ambrose, who was preaching in the local cathedral. And the more Augustine listened to him, how Ambrose preached the scriptures, it began to change his life. Augustine wrote some, though, a lot of this up in his book, which some people call the first autobiography of the ancient world, his confessions, where he speaks about his search. And perhaps of all the great words he wrote down in that book, it's really at the beginning of it, really just about the first paragraph, he would say, where he gives those words that we said at the opening of part of our Mass and asking for the Lord's forgiveness. You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Those words summed up the remaining of Augustine's life. Under the influence of Ambrose, he was converted to the Catholic religion. 
being faithful to his mom, who went back to Africa, wanted to find, found a monastery so other people may find the Lord too. But again, he became so renowned that he was acclaimed a bishop, and by his teaching, he tried to keep the early church on the right road to the Lord. You have made us for yourself, O Lord. Our hearts are restless until they rest. So maybe a little thought to take with us today, that saying of Augustine, as we in our life look for meaning, look for purpose, let's really see, really, it's always going to be based on our love of the Lord. And from that basis, so many other wonderful things may come. So yes, you have made us for yourself, O oh God. Our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Let's keep on looking at that God of love and keep on going towards that God of love. With our eyes and hearts fixed on the coming of our Lord in glory, let us bring our prayers and needs before Him. For the church, may she grow and prosper in the Lord's safe work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work in the legal and judicial systems, may God grant them wisdom in acting with justice and fairness for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with sickness in all its many forms, may Christ's healing be theirs this day and always. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God continue to open our hearts to the message of his love revealed to us in Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon come before the Lord and rejoice in his eternal presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those special intentions that we carry in the quiet of our hearts. For these special intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal Father, as we await the return of your Son in glory, we ask you to hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We make our prayer through your Son, Jesus Christ, our loving Son. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed God. God. By the mystery of this water and wine, grant that we may come to share in Christ's divinity, who humbled himself to share in our own. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, 
the fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church faithful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, the Spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially St. Augustine, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other some sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be part of them. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy. Keep me safe, preacher. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Let us announce the good news by the beauty of our lives. Thanks be to God. Hope your day goes well. You too, Father.